Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with a new BMW 3 Series 2023 model and with a new multimedia system and I have with me the iPhone 14 and I want to show you how easy it is to connect your iPhone to this new multimedia system and yeah, let's go first of all the phone and you have to go to the Bluetooth. Once you are in the Bluetooth settings, down here it should appear the car. But before the car will appear down there, you have to do some tweaks in the uh, multimedia system. So this is the multimedia system. And then you have to go here in the application. And then you have to go to Apple CarPlay. Then wait to search for devices. Now it's already kind of find the BMW here. You can see it down there, BMW 09078, and also it find the Dan's iPhone. You press the Dan iPhone, and then you confirm on the screen, and then it says one more time, continuing, and you wait a few seconds, and then it start. It's trying to connect to the phone, and then it asks you if you want to pair it on the phone. You just press the pair. Right now you go allo. And you wait a few seconds it's waiting for the mobile devices and it will connect in a few seconds uh, you just wait a little bit you need a little bit of time then it will ask you on the phone one more time you want to use apple carplay and then you just go use apple carplay and then wait a few seconds more it's wireless everything is wireless and then allo here allo and now it's just perfect you just leave your phone on the side and you are good to go you are connected uh, if I'm not wrong. And the good part is that, look at this, once you are connected to the Apple CarPlay, you will see down here that it will appear a few extra application. For example, we have Google Maps, we have Maps from the phone, we have Message in CarPlay, uh, we have Music from the phone, WhatsApp, Telegram, Spotify and Call. And how, how cool is that? I mean, it's, it's really, really cool. Then if you go to home, you can use your multimedia system in the same way as you use it before. But if you want to go in Apple CarPlay, you have here an extra button, you see? And once you press that button there, you go in the Apple CarPlay uh, settings and here you have all the application. The great part is that you can see it on the full screen i mean it's huge man it's really big screen and you can see all the application that you have it even zoom whatsapp telegram spotify google map and all the application that you have it will appear right here in a nice way so it's really cool you can use also the voice command from the steering wheel but you have to press it for three seconds wait a second the car try to to stop for a bit let me go back in the in the android and then three seconds navigate to barcelona getting directions to barcelona spain and look at this how easy it is it's just in a few seconds can do that for you and you just press go boom route and barcelona. it's starting route to barcelona and the Proceed great part the is on the out. new bmw guys i want to show you the great part is that if you go in the settings here you will see that on the screen on the digital screen you will have the map from the phone this is the awesome part not many cars offer you that but you will have the map right here you don't have to go there on the right side so great job that you can see also the map on the digital screen here so bmw make a big big step forward uh, in, in terms of maps uh, compared with the other uh, car manufacturers now here going here uh, I want to show you that you can use also the Google map. You can go in Google map. The only thing with uh, iPhones and Apple CarPlay is the fact that you cannot zoom in and zoom out. You have to go here in terms of zoom in and zoom out and have, you have to zoom in and zoom out like that. But other than that, uh, it works just perfectly and uh, it's very smooth. It's very big. It's just perfect. I love it. If you want to go back to BMW, just press BMW and now you're back to the menu of the BMW and you can use the menu um, in a simple way as you use it always and then you go back here if you want to disconnect it of course you have to go to uh, settings or easier you go here to phone or wait a second wait a second you go to all apps 
this is the simplest way and the safest way uh, to disconnect it completely and then you have to go to where is that you go to settings oh, wait a second i don't remember where was that um mobile devices here mobile devices and then on the mobile devices you will see what devices you have connected and in this moment you can you can actually deactivate it from here you can also do it like that and right now it's deactivated completely if you want to activate it again you just go here and enable it but if i'm not wrong let me show you you will have to play a little bit with your phone as well and it will ask you again if you want to connect and stuff like that if you want to pair it activation okay connecting and you have to wait a little bit until it will connect again but this is the safest way and the fastest way uh, to do it to disconnect it and if i'm not wrong you can also delete it from there completely now it's connected again so yeah this is the way uh, you do it guys i hope the video was useful i hope you get some useful information from the video if you like it please like share subscribe uh, soon i will have a proper full review with this multimedia system if you want to see it stay close thank you for watching stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys